So I kind of got to tell you guys a bit of a, a bit of a secret. It's, it's a dirty, dirty secret. I haven't shared much online. I don't know how to code. And not just like, I can only code like small things. Like I'm not a code at all. I've tried, I failed, I've tried and failed again. I've got three different books on JavaScript to learn how to code. And I feel like it's a big gap in my geek cred. So I'm gonna fix myself, I'm gonna better myself. And I got something that looks, looks kind of fun that'll help me learn how to code. We got Birdo off camera. Birdo. Cano. So supposedly, the reason I was kind of attracted to Cano, aside from its, its pretty red box, uh, is that it makes coding super simple. It's drag and drop coding like Scratch, which, which for me makes sense. You can use JavaScript if you're more advanced, and it'll work with a Mac or a PC. It's a self-contained computer with ports. Let's go ahead, take a look. We've got make a light board and stickers. Which one, which one looks like me? Let's go the guy who's so pale. He's see-through. Just like, just like me and, and Berto off camera from Berto's Bulletin. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. All right, so essentially this is a single board computer with a LED array just snapped on top of it, but it looks, it looks kind of fancy. So pull that off to the side. We got some batteries. It's got three USB ports on there for accessories. We got micro USB charging cable. We got a case to hold it in. More stuff for that case. More things for the case. And we got this thing. I don't know what this is. We'll figure out what this is. All right, here is the Pixel Brain. Cases, oh, it's a mode dial, and these are joystick buttons, in case you were wondering. So far, so good. I haven't broken it yet. It's got first impressions. Buttons are very clicky. Nice, it's like an old school HTC phone. Now I have the joystick. All right, it's this one. Push that in there. All right, time for the mode dial. Let's go ahead and do that. Each turn sends a signal to the brain. Attach it like this. Okay, that seems pretty simple. We're dialed up. You like that? <laughs> All right, place the battery in shiny connectors first. So, there's, there, there, there's that and there's that. I think that's the, the shiny connectors. All right. All right. Power it on. Great, now keep it strong and safe. Let's make a case. All right, so put the front of the case on a flat surface. I can do that. All right, make sure the ports peek out. <gasps> see the ports peeking out? You see it, Mark? You see them? That's why this kept falling out because it didn't have the case to keep it in. So, it wasn't my mistake. I'm gonna try and plug it in because I've got a newer generation MacBook Pro. Hashtag dongle life. All right, so nothing has changed. This is exactly the same setup we had before. Let's plug this in. Uh, all right. All right, so now I'm in the creator. Uh, and I can build a bunch of different stuff in their training apps. Let's go to, let's make a light show. Okay, so I've got the canvas, or I can go and see the JavaScript if I want to do that, but I am not that good. So I've got these golden uh, diamonds. So I'm going to do, I'll push next. All right, so control, this is control. So every one second, do something. So that's what I wanted to do. When the app starts, every one second, I'm going to light board, turn lights on, so I can drag that. Right there. there we go, I did something, look. I made that light up. You did? I did that. Right, so I went through and did some of the challenges. As you can tell by my proper rainbow in my light challenge, I'm probably the best coder that's ever lived. Um, so they set it up kind of a cool way. You've got a canvas where it's sort of a lot of the drag and drop stuff, like I said, like scratch. And you go and you can see how things connect and they have different colors. And you go and drag things down below or off to the right and the program will execute them. And if you want to see what the JavaScript is, you can see that as well. If you want to sort of learn the JavaScript or if you already know, you can program directly into there. Uh, but it was really simple. And it starts off very simply. I started off just lighting one pixel, then I moved that pixel around, then I created a light strip, and then I got it to change colors. Now I got it to do a little, little color dance. Um, and it just sort of goes to show you, know, you can have a foundation for coding, you know, sort of using this drag and drop framework. And ultimately, you will learn some JavaScript 
uh, as well as you go over and keep looking at it, which is kind of cool to see. So as you go through and finish your own challenges, or if you decide to create your own project on the Cano Kit, you can also share it through online community, which they've appropriately called Cano World. You can check out what other people have created, you can leave a comment or decide to remix other creations, you can use what other people have done, you can improve or modify it, make it better, and show your programming skills. You can use it across multiple platforms, either Mac or PC. Cano don't care. This was, it was, I mean, Cano asked me to take a look at this, um, and something that I wanted to try. They did sponsor this video. Uh, something, something that I really wanted to learn, and I want to sort of share, kind of share it with you guys. So if this is something that you want to try, we'll put a link here and link to it down below. There'll also be a $5 off coupon down there. Coupon, if you want to try it. So, if you guys want to code, leave in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up, because I tried. I'm really trying to learn how to code. And if I feel the encouragement, the community love, I will share the stuff that I'm making with Meccano, with you guys, and um, you guys can give me some advice on learning how to code.